unit, uh, unit or the we arrived to the Ashima. No, 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 sorry. We arrived. Uh, yesterday we closed the lesson uh, with this an Ashi map with this basin uh, with the basin split in its basins and so uh, this means that we we are almost done almost because uh, the models ask uh, the the rainfall runoff model uh, ask <coughs> you to split so for example we have uh, a basin and we have uh, a basin like this uh, so then we have the color stuff you know? this is the map that we call uh, computed yesterday where each color it was a subbasin, no? So what uh, the model uh, needs is that for each of these subbasins, you need a folder with the name of your uh, ID. So for example, this is ID one, this is ID two, this is ID three, and this is ID four. Uh, and inside this folder, you need uh, just the them. Uh, this guy you factor, the centroids of these basins, the shape file in this case. Um, okay, and then inside this folder you will have the rainfall, for example, uh, and, and things like that. So you really need uh, for each basin his own dam, his own uh, schedule factor, his own centroid, <laughs> and uh, and this is what we should do manually if we didn't have the script that we provide you this morning. Uh, so the script does uh, this works for you, and so running it and paying a little bit uh, of attention to the path and to the process to run the script, we should uh, then arrive uh, to seven folder, which is one for each subbasin, and each of these folders will contain the digital elevation model, the centroids of the subbasins, and the, and the sky view factor of the subbasins. Is it clear, more or less? che la mail blocca gli allegati mm. quindi ce lo stiamo passando per gli altri ah, la mail di tutti? no, aspetta no, 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 nel email della scuola ma ok ok and now what we will do it's uh, few steps with the GIS the QGIS do you have all the QGIS installed on your computer uh, hopefully you will have the version that uh, we provided yesterday to you. If you have another version, we hope that everything works uh, well. Uh, so yes, just to have in mind what we do. Uh, we have the uh, ASHI map uh, with uh, the subbasins and we will uh, create a shape file uh, for it a unique shape file, we, polygon we polygonize uh, these, uh, these maps. So it means that for each subbasin, uh, we have a, a future which is a polygon. And this is done uh, automatically uh, by QGIS. Uh, so, okay, just to have an idea of uh, 
where we were. Let me do this. And let me start from scratch. So we know we all know that we arrive to this point here where we have the uh, carbon <coughs> basins raster map. This is the last map that yesterday has been computed. Uh, so you can see that we have different basins and we have, we want to create a shape file of this uh, raster map. Okay, to create this file, we will just use uh, uh, QGIS, but you can use, uh, of course, this is independent of your, of your favorite GIS, it's just an example that uh, we take. So, from raster, for the, forum, uh, for the um, panel raster, we go to uh, conversion and then to polygonize. You should have loaded your uh, map Cavone Subbasins. Um, could you please? Yes. 
if you go from raster, conversion, polygonize. Uh, we select the folder where we want to save the shared file and I will ask you to uh, follow the name strategy that we are uh, going to use then there will be a reasons and I will show you later so we will call these uh, uh, cabon underscore subbasins And you don't have to add the shape because it will, it will do it for you. And another thing uh, that we have to modify is the field name. Uh, and we take and we put it uh, as the ID. Can you just go back? Back where? To the polygon. Uh, ah, how, how you are right there? Yes. Okay. Uh, vector, uh, sorry, raster, conversion, polygonal. Uh, polygona. Yes. I did that. Yes. Okay. And here you select where you want to save the name, the map, the shape file that you want to create. And you have to provide the name, and we call it Cavone underscore sub basins. And then we save it. And then you have to modify the field name. And the field name, we put ID. And if this is done, you should get the shape file of your. Uh, Basins, and if you click on shape file, you will see just the ID. Are you all? Uh, no. no. You all get errors. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, what did you get? Uh, the different version. Version of what? Of QGIS. Uh, so, okay. I think I have a I can send it to the extension of the file at the end of the name. I don't know. <laughs> The name of your output without the path, it doesn't know where to write it. So the idea is that we do like this. We go to raster, conversion, polygonize, and then here, if you don't have select, you should have uh, something else that says you uh, save to file, and then he asks you where to save, and you will save in the folder that we were uh, where we we were saving all our outputs that uh, is in output, cavone, the geomorphology tree. Okay. Then you will put the name there and you call it Cavone underscore uh, sub basins. Then you save it, you modify the full name and you put ID and then you run OK and everything is good.
How many of you get errors again? One? Just one? No. No? Two? 